Greetings, loved ones. Let's take a chance. It's time for Amanda <laughs> Exclusivo. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Amanda Exclusivo. My guest today, you guys, he blew me away making his debut in MJ on Broadway. Do me a favor and please welcome Jamal Fields Green. Hey, Jamal. Hey, I like I like this. I like you know, this. Little dance. Little is this dance. a move that you learned in the show? Not at all. This is all me. <laughs> <laughs> I I like it. I'm going to start using that now when I have guests come on. I'll just be like, hey. Uh, <laughs> so Jamal, for those of us that don't know you, tell us about yourself and how you got your start. Okay. Well, I am Jamal Fields Green. I am originally from Bronx, New York, uh, also from Rockland County. Uh, I didn't, funny thing is I didn't start musical theater until high school. Uh, I grew up, you know, just loving, I like, I love to sing uh, a lot as a kid. Uh, my mom actually worked at NBC uh, for a while while I was growing up. So, you know, I was always surrounded by like these billboards in her office and stuff. And I grew up a huge movie buff, um, I, you know, I'd always, memorize the lines my favorite lines from a movie or a tv show and i would uh redo them with my uh my action figures and stuff um but i didn't start until sophomore year of high school uh and it was as a joke uh, my friends and i were taking a music theory class uh and we wanted to be a rap group and i was going to produce the music so we're taking this class and we're joking around and the teacher i guess she just saw seaweed in the gang because then she was like you guys should audition for you know, hairspray i'm doing hairspray you know you should audition and we we're like yeah right because I, I played a lot of football i played a lot of sports in high school all my friends did and uh, we were on the football team another uh, two of us were on the basketball team and we we're like yeah sure and my friend signed us all up as a joke and uh we did it and i ended up getting seaweed had a great time all of us did and we ended up doing the, the plays, uh, the musicals the next few years. And then we did The Wiz the next year after that. And the choreographer from that, uh, his name was Josu Jasmine. And his mom was one of the first Black Rockettes. And he wow. was, uh, yeah. And, and, and he pulled my mom aside after one of my performances for The Wiz and was like, he could do this for the rest of his life if he uh, takes it serious enough. Um, and we were like, why not? You know, uh, didn't really know what I wanted to do in college yet. So I was like, okay, cool. You know, why not? So. He got me in touch with uh, John McDonald, who's still one of my uh, mentors to this day. Um, I actually saw the show like a month and a half ago or so, but um, <laughs> he was my acting coach uh, and he got me prepared for uh, my auditions for college. I auditioned for all the top schools in the country and I got into the Hart School and Howard and I went to the Hart School and I just worked my butt off from there. Um, those four, I, I was, pretty behind compared to my uh, the other students that went there. Mm -hmm. um, but I kind of use that as a, as a inspiration or a template for anybody. Like, you know, it's never too late to start. If you want to do this and you feel like you're meant to do this, then just do it, go after it, put the work in. So that's exactly what I did. And when I graduated, I, I did a lot of regional work while I was in school. And then upon graduating, right after graduating, I took the role of John Lawrence Philip Hamilton in Hamilton. And I joined the Chicago company of Hamilton and did that for about a year and a half. Um, learned the business firsthand. Um, freelanced a little bit while I was in Chicago. So then I, I ended up doing voiceover work. I, I did a Doritos commercial. I'd done Adidas. <laughs> it, it was crazy. I, then I, I went on to do uh, some television. I did a little movie for a uh, reform and then did... Um, a role on Chicago PD where the name, the character's name was uh, Jamal. Um, I was going to ask you about Chicago PD. What was that like for you? It was crazy because I had been auditioning for the casting director for a while, for a few months now, and got close in some spots, you know, didn't hear back for other things. And their office reached out to me and was like, hey, one of the writers of Chicago PD uh, wants to see Hamilton. Um, just wanted to see if, you know, if you'd be interested in getting him a ticket and stuff. And I was like, totally. So this is before COVID. So usually right. like, I know I think still does this, but it's kind of different. But uh, most shows used to do this, where after the show, if you have people that want to come on stage, you can bring them on stage after the show. Um, so I got him a ticket. 
brought him on stage afterwards and spoke to him and, uh, you know, was kind of telling him about, you know, cause the thing is I actually, <clears throat> when I got my acting coach, I wanted to do TV and film. I've always wanted to do TV and film, but he told me to have the training in theater because he's like, if you have the training in theater, it's just, a, it just makes you an all around better actor. Yeah. And I knew that I wanted to do my music and I wanted to like, you know, dance. So I took a chance and audition for that, but I'm um, fast forward back to this. Uh, I told him, you know, aspirations uh, for being a writer and a director as well. You know, him being a writer for a network uh, televised show. We yeah. got into like a conversation about it. He uh, next week ended up getting me on set for all the Chicago shows, Chicago PD, Chicago Fire, Chicago Med, because um, they all film in the same uh, studio. I had an entire day where they just showed me around the entire studio lot. And um me to all the offices and stuff just because this guy was like yeah um you know so you like so you can get a first hand and see how everything works and just that alone was cool a few weeks later i have an audition uh sent in from the agent saying oh yeah it's for chicago pd for the role of jamal so i'm like no way you're like i can do that <laughs> yeah. i do the audition and then uh after i got it he texted me because i had his number he texted me he was like yeah he's like i did um i wrote that role for you and it was Pretty cool. Uh, Chicago PD was awesome. Um, you look at that. People are already thinking of you. <laughs> you know, it, it, was, it was it was cool. Like uh, I kind of got to get a fresh start, you know, into the TV business. And my director, coincidentally, was Michael T. Williamson. So for those who don't know him, uh, the best movie that I'll, he's a legend in this business, but um, he's probably best known for a lot of things, but one of them being uh, Bubba in Forrest Gump. Um, so seeing that this guy was my director, I was like, you know, I took this chance and I, you know, I pulled him aside during one of our takes and I was like, hey, it's really cool seeing you, know, you being a director. I didn't even know that you were a director. I was like, you know, I'm an actor and I want to direct eventually someday. You know, do you have any pointers? And he was like, well, you know, um, my first directing gig was uh, a music video. It was for NWA. And I was like, oh, cool. I was like, I direct my own music video. So I was like, cool. You know, and that was just a great experience. I got to learn firsthand just as an actor being on set, um, learning how the process of TV uh, film goes, but then also seeing someone that I watched growing up and then him being a director was also awesome. He ends up to this day, also one of my mentors now. Um, we ended Look up at making- Look at you taking people under your wing like that. That's pretty cool. You have to, one of the things about the business is you have to network on top of just being oh, yeah. good at your Um, But yeah, then from Chicago, we came here, uh, was going to do Aida. We were going to tour for a year, uh, the revival. We were going to tour for, as Mero, we were going to tour for a year. And I think the plan was to go to Broadway. Pandemic happened. And I did, I was fortunate enough to not that I, I wasn't just, I wasn't not working during the pandemic. I, I was doing a bunch of voiceover gigs that kept me stable. Um, I ended up doing my first on-camera commercial for Amex back in 2021. Wow. Uh, yeah. It was, it was cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then last year I did a, a regional uh, gig for um, Choir Boy in Philly, which was awesome. And as soon as I got back, I saw MJ for the first time with my friend. Because mind you, two years before that, I was in final uh, one of the final callbacks for uh, Middle Michael. And I didn't get it, which was fine. Um, that's how the business goes. And uh, I went to go see with my best, one of my best friends uh, in this industry. Uh, his Sam, uh, we did Hamilton together. He, um, who's on Broadway now, but um, he, uh, he was like, hey, I got an extra ticket to go see MJ if you want. And I was like, yeah, because I'm like, I grew up an MJ fan. I'm like, I want to see what the show's about. I want to see if yeah. it's, you know, good or not. And during intermission, I get an email and it's like for future replacements of for the role of MJ. During intermission, I'm seeing this. It's so serious. It was crazy. It was crazy. I did the uh the initial audition. We had to sing three songs, Stranger in Moscow, Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. And it was another song. I can't remember what it was. We had to do two uh, sides. They loved the tape. They wanted me to come in and do a work session. So um, I went in to do the work session and we had to learn three dance numbers, uh, so a portion of Smooth and the Fosse stuff, the before Smooth Criminal, Billie Jean. And I can't remember what the other thing was. 
So what came to you first, Jamal? Was it the singing or dancing? For this role? Was it, no, when you were growing up, like what, what came to you singing. first? I, I would singing. say singing, but, but out of everything, I think my acting was always the strongest. Is and, and still to this day, I always say it's my acting, singing, and then dancing. Dancing was dead last. I danced, I, I partied a lot in high school. Um, so I would, <laughs> That's where party. you got the moves from. <laughs> Yeah, so I would dance a lot of parties. I would dance a lot of sweet sixteens. But other than that, like I never had any formal training before college. And in college, I did tap, jazz, ballet. Um, I was working my butt off. I practiced nonstop, so I was able to get the eye of my not only my dance teacher, but um, of the dance division. And I was invited to take for my senior year. I also did one year of Lamone and uh, one year of partnering with all the dance majors. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, but that was yeah, but the, the, um. That was, yeah, I would say the acting came first, then the singing, then the dancing. Oh, okay. So were, were you moonwalking like when you were three or <laughs> it took some time? It started at the party. I, was, I thought I was, but then when you do this role, you realize a lot of the MJ stuff that you think you know, you actually don't know. <laughs> so what was the audition process like for you, for Michael Jackson? It sounds it pretty was, tedious. I mean, there's a bunch of different dances and songs that you got to do from what you were saying. Was, it, it was it was very tedious. So we had the initial yeah. audition. It was a self I sent in the self tape. Then they wanted me to come in for the work session where I had to do all the material again on top of three dance numbers. And that was it. But the work the thing the the uh the gag is with the, the work session was that it was the full team. And I usually sometimes, you know, they said the full team will be there and you know, usually they're not. But it was a like, full team, including really? uh Leo our uh who was our exe uh, executive producer. Um, and it was crazy. Um, and we had to sing Billie Jean while also doing it. So yeah, oh, it was Billie Jean, Smooth. Um, two, and it was two parts of Smooth, yeah. And it was, it was crazy. That went on for about like maybe two hours or three hours. Um, it was a two day work session. And then <clears throat> the was day of- The audition process? It was a two day work session audition process. The first oh. day was really just them kind of uh, giving us the time. To, so like I had time to practice the dance moves in, in a studio space. And then I got to go over my scenes with our associate director. Um, and then same thing with our associate music director um, or our music director uh, we went over all the songs because I guess he just wanted to see how the placement was. Then the next day I did it in front of Chris Wielden, our director. And choreographer and the full team mm -hmm. and we um it was me and this other guy who uh i won't say his name but he's okay. actually joining he's joining us soon um which is cool uh i won't say what role he's doing too but he's joining us soon um no suspense okay <laughs> but um but it was it was it was really really cool um but it was, it was tv so that was part of that then i get a call that afternoon saying hey the team really liked you um, the next part of this process is that they'll fly you, um, they'll take, you know, you go to LA um, and you do a week long dance camp with the Talawega brothers. Now, Thanks. Rich and Tone Talawega, yeah, dance, Rich and Tone Talawega are legends. They've worked with everybody in this business. Uh, their first tour was Diana Ross. Their second one was MJ and they were 15 to 16 years old. Wow. Um, they knew MJ up until the point where, you know, up until his passing. So anybody that's done MJ or will do MJ has to go through them. They teach MJ's basically his dance vocabulary. Um, so, and for five days straight, we just did four hours a day in LA, never been to LA. We just did um, Billie Jean. And it was the hardest stuff I've ever done in my entire life. Couldn't feel my body after the on Friday. <laughs> um, and then a few weeks later, <clears throat> Uh, I got the initial email uh, for the offer. And originally it was just for MJ to cover MJ. Um, but then they also asked for me to cover Middle Michael as well. And um, now I'm here. Now it's history. Which Michael do you like playing better? The middle one or, or older MJ? Definitely MJ, older MJ. Had a but feeling you would say that. <laughs> you, know, you know, I've never, I never gotten the chance to be the lead of a show um it is really cool to do that but mj is still as fun i mean M middle michael covers i say some of mj's more his time when he was more wild like you know like 
older MJ is like the master of the craft and he's more controlled and stuff. Whereas middle Michael feels more of like, you know, he was still student, but he was so wild, like with his movements and everything. He was so fast. He was so sharp. And so middle Michael was fun. Like uh, as when I play middle Michael, my favorite number is uh, the victory tour dance. Uh, can you feel it? I love that number. Ooh, so no, no, that was a good part. I'll tell you my favorite part when I saw you without okay. giving too much away for people that haven't seen the show. I'm just going to say thriller, period. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love that. That's, that's one of my, I think that's my top, in my top three. Uh, well, let me tell you, the beginning part, I had no idea it was starting. It like scared the shit out of me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, whoa, we're on. We're on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> really really good and it, it does a good job I, I remember i saw it the first time and then the second time you know when you join the show usually they'll have you see it so you can see what you're going to be doing so i saw it the same time and it caught me i was like i was like oh my gosh i was like this sounds i like know this. yeah that's exactly how i felt i swear to god it, i i'm like this i was sitting next to my mom i was like whoo oh okay. yeah no it's a, it's, a, <laughs> it's, a, it's a good jump scare no it, it definitely it definitely is a jump scare i gotta ask you because you do a lot of dance moves in the show what's your favorite mm -hmm. one is there one that maybe we could do like together? <laughs> it's, uh, it's the glide. Oh, the, the glide? glide? Is the glide, you know, the shoulders and stuff, you know, the gliding through. And then the other one has to be, as of right now, because I'm, I'm always switching the moves up. I'm trying to learn new ones to, you know, uh, add to the repertoire. All right, so I have three. It's that one. It's this one where he goes, he points here, he points here, and then he does this little tap time step and then does a spin. Ooh. And the other one, a uh, kick switch thing where he, you know, his shoulders are going like this, but his foot, his feet are going like, ga, 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 ga. It's, <laughs> it's, those are my, probably my favorite. Uh, I don't even know how you do that. I was just sitting there like. A lot of practice and a lot of studying. Yeah, no, I'm going to, I'm going to have to come in for a dance lesson, but I'll come through. Make them all. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I want to know, like. In the show, like, obviously you had to learn the voice. So what was the practice process like for you? Were you going around the house talking like Michael? <laughs> yep. I was, I was. My girlfriend definitely was annoyed with me. Still is to this day, because sometimes I'll break out and I'll start practicing a move. And she'll be like, just for a second, just, just be still. Um, but yeah, I was going around the house practicing my voice a lot, um, singing the music. I mean, I grew up on the music. I grew up an MJ fan. So that was a no-brainer, but I was dancing. I was dancing around. I actually knocked over a lot of furniture um, in the early. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of broomsticks in the kitchen and stuff. Just like me just practicing. You knocked over a bunch of furniture. I hope you got some yeah. new ones, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, uh, thankfully, nothing was broken. Thank, thank God. I mean, you, yeah. maybe, you could, maybe you could do that at work, but you don't have to do that yeah. at home. Because <laughs> nah. in the end, that's not your problem. <laughs> no. <laughs> what's your favorite song to sing in the show i know that's it's a hard between, question it's between she's out of my life or okay she's out of my life to sing she's out of my life for a uh, earth song Ooh, so for I love singing people haven't seen it yet you want to give us a little snippet of one of your favorites? Uh, what about sunrise? What about rain? What about all the things that you said we weren't to gain? What have we done to the world? Look what we've done. What about all the peace that you pledged your only son? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Yay! <laughs> no i mean every every song you sang i i thought was amazing human nature thank was one of my favorites on your end for sure i yeah. mean michael has so many good songs i feel like you just can't go wrong do you just always have fun when you're doing the show it just seems I like do. great how many times are you are you on as michael usually i would say maybe about maybe once one or two times a week uh, there's two standbys, myself and Aramie Payton. We go back and forth. But I would say about usually one or two times a week at least. Okay. Yeah. But I, it's I, I saw you one of those times, just saying. Yeah. You got to have never forget, I met you at the stage door in the pouring rain. <laughs> oh, and I was yeah, like, you want to come on my YouTube channel? <laughs> yeah, I was like, 
of course. <laughs> no, I'm, yeah, so, no. I'm so excited that you agreed to come on. So when you're not on stage, Jamal, what's what's life like for you? Uh, we have a lot of good tech in the back for like uh for our bodies. So I put these uh, tech boots on my legs. It uh compresses the legs and stuff, helps them uh really gel out and stuff, especially if they're tight. I usually do that. Um, I write a lot. Um, you know, I'm working on my next short film and stuff. So yeah, you know the. I have a lot of projects that I've written. Um, so I'm, I usually write. Um, I'm always working. I'm always working on something, usually, when I'm not doing the show. No, that's good. And I know, you know, you're obviously on Broadway, but are you also interested in pursuing a career in songwriting and producing? I am. I know you mentioned no, that. But yeah, after I am, yeah, yeah. You know, um, I've been, I have a bunch of music out right now. It's under uh, Jay Hassan. Hassan is my middle name. Uh, so it was out under Jason. I was like R and B, pop, a little bit of hip hop, um, but definitely I'm uh, I'm sky's the limit with me. You know I'm I'm I'm, just, I'm trying to do everything I can get my hands on. Uh, you know until I'm done. Well, that's great. I'm so excited for you. I can't wait to see what you do next. You're obviously killing it as Michael, and I know oh, that thank- sat in the audience. I was right there. <laughs> oh, thank <laughs> you, go, Jamal. I was wondering if we could play a quick game. Let's do it. Okay, cool. So it's called the speed rounds. I'm going to ask you as many questions as I can about yourself within a minute. Don't worry. I'm going to tell you my record. I don't know if you're a fan of reality TV and if you like The Bachelor. Um, <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen The Bachelor, I think, maybe years and years ago. But I haven't <laughs> okay. Seen- so somebody that was on the show, his name is Mike Johnson. He answered 18 of my questions. Maybe you can beat him. Okay, let's try it. So let me know when you're ready, Jamal, and I will start the timer. I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. And the timer is going to start now. Moonwalk or twerking? Moonwalk. Singing or dancing? Singing. Your favorite Broadway musical? Uh, I just came to my head. Pretty time. Okay. Early riser or night owl? Night owl. What instrument did you play as a kid? Piano. Want to be starting something or thriller? Thriller. Have you ever had braces? No, I have Invisalign though. <laughs> City or suburbs? <laughs> City. Okay, your favorite singer? Oh, uh, Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Michael's hat or Michael's glove? Glove. Your favorite ice cream flavor? Vanilla. What are you binge watching right now? Avatar, The Last Airbender. <laughs> Hot pretzel or hot dog? Hot pretzel. Taxi or subway? Subway. The timer's up. Which one? Subway. Okay, you got 14, but I do want to ask you this other question. So, what's your favorite Michael Jackson album? I think it's bad. Bad? I think it's bad. Yeah, I think it's bad. Good one. I mean, they're, they're all great, but you did very well. You got 14. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You see? You... And I also had Invisalign, so I am a part of that club with you. That's yeah. what we bond over. Like, Invisalign for life. <laughs> yeah. Like, no. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I had to think about that for a second, but yeah, no, I had Invisalign. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but what's next for you, Jamal? We're just gonna have to wait and see. Oh, uh, there's some stuff, friends. okay. Uh, kind of lining up for right now, you know. But um, uh, we'll see. Uh, my, my my short film just got its first uh, official film festival selection, so uh, we're waiting to see if we're gonna get nominated. And if so, then we'll be screened at the festival and invited to do the festival. That's awesome. Or so uh. Not quite sure, but everything is looking pretty good right now. Just uh, some more TV and film as an actor and writer and director. Uh, an official, uh, an original Broadway credit. Um, that's that, that's definitely on the horizon. Um, and a little more Michael. A little more Michael. A little more Michael. Some more shows of my own as under Jay Hassan, more music. Uh, some visuals dropping. I just dropped a whole EP uh, under Jay Hassan. Yeah, that's real, that's really it. That's awesome. Well, I I can't wait to see what you do next. Keep me updated on your film for sure. You're more than welcome to come back, talk to me about that or whatever you want. You have my info now. I'm I'm always here.